Ag Week weather is sponsored by Bremer Bank. Connect with a banker today at bremer.com. Does this winter heat wave plan on sticking around? Here's John with our AgriWeather Outlook. After a relatively brief but impressive incursion of extremely warm weather into the northern plains and upper Midwest. There are signs that we may be turning cold again in some of these areas as we go into February. I don't at this point anticipate anything what you would call brutally cold uh, in at least through the first half of February, but I do expect some cold weather returning. With that in mind, the national pattern favors a relatively cool weather pattern setting up again across the south, which is having a fairly cool winter over Overall, typical of El Nino winters. And overall, with this change back to cooler weather, where will the winter weather be? Where will there be any snowstorms? Let me say up front that at this point, I don't expect an extremely stormy pattern. The pattern, the jet stream pattern looking a little too convoluted, but there will be some pockets, I think, of at least moderate precipitation. But let's go to this. Uh, um, Ant Hill to begin with. Uh, I, I've drawn three streams to kind of represent the general flow pattern. And the primary jet stream to pick out would be this one, troughing along the West Coast, kind of an odd shaped pattern through the Great Plains, which is allowing for this relatively mild weather this week, all up into the Northern Plains, many days in the 40s as far north as North Dakota and Minnesota. And as we go through this week, that will kind of hang on this whole region of the country will be quite mild, but it won't be particularly warm in the south. The warm air really being limited to South Florida, the Caribbean. At times, Texas will have some warm days. Uh, only the far southern parts of the southwest will be warm. Lo Rocky's pretty well locked into cold weather, and as we go through this week, there will be some colder temperatures beginning to pool over the western prairie provinces of Canada, and some of that really frigid air will start to show up, but remain mostly pretty far north. As as we get toward the end of the week, I do expect to push up colder weather. And by this, the dark blue, I mean below freezing, high temperature type weather dropping into the northern plains. The great the Midwest will stay relatively mild. A brief intrusion of warm air into the southeast, which may be accompanied by a rainstorm or some thunderstorms down south. And pretty cold weather in the southwest. Now, we'll switch it to the second week of the forecast. And it does look consistently colder in through the northern plains as we start to see the, generally speaking, cooler weather drop down. I think we'll keep the really cold stuff, sub-zero high type weather up near Hudson Bay, but a cooler weather pattern for the Great Lakes and the northern plains and the western part of the upper Midwest. So with that transition to colder weather, uh, a little bit of rain turning to snow, probably not heavy, more light to moderate in the northern plains with the storm on the east coast and one out west. The second Second week looks a little drier with the storm in the eastern states and likely not much through the plains.